Yes, Charles, the big issue during his election has been MPs and the job they do once they're elected. But what happens when they return to the House of Commons? Well, before anything else, they have to swear allegiance to the Queen. In many cases, the symbolics will suffice, but it is at this moment when all the cameras are on him or her, and memory their vocabulary can become quite boisterous, such as the case when the right on the member for Bristol in 1946. Now, the exact words cannot be uh, repeated what he said owing to Abley Spencer's possibly dropping the fine china. Though, to give you a gist, there were three bodies and one new use of a word kind of bath. So, after they pay their fine for swearing, it's down to finding an office. Many MPs have to share at first, leading to hilarious sitcom antics. But the truth is more duller than that. They usually get some removals man called Billy to dump their stuff in any available space and bugger off to the bar for a ceremonial drink. And after they've awoken from a drunken stupor and singing all the words of the Japanese boy, including all the older bits, it's down to a serious work and a job in hand, usually listening to people going on and on and on about a loose paving stone outside their front door. But for others, they think about the perks they can get for the job. More often than not, it involves chasing young new bell staff round the office in a Benny Hill style. And if they aren't pregnant or shacked up with a cabinet minister within a month, they get back to writing the letters and replying to emails about loose paving stones. Meanwhile, the average wage can vary owing to any directorships that are going. Well, if you're Cyril Smith, it's more than likely that Washington's poor eyes will make you a director. But for the unlucky few, there's always that directorship at Plummel's luminous novelty condoms limited. <laughs> yet if that doesn't appeal to you, the media will be banging on your door to get you on their shows. On average, a clip comment on a topical panel show can boost your fee up to five hundred pounds and to get you the mock respect of a comedian who'd work in your head and give you any good material to read out. Then again, you could always be Boris Johnson, a good breath all can get you up to about a thousand pounds, so it's like wonder why he's a millionaire. Meanwhile, for Joe Average, a typical adventure who nobody knows where in the <laughs> hell their constituency is, is a case of grabbing what you can, and that's where expenses come into it. For instance, if you've got a second home, you could always claim that you need mouse traps or a cockroach problem, and nobody will be any wiser until a grubby little journalist comes along poking their nose through your bins. But like everything, it's a total duck hunt if you get caught. Still, if you do get caught, you'll get your assets cut off, and that can be one of the most painful experiences to go through. Then, look on the bright side, at least they'll be wanting you to sign up for the next series of Strictly Come Dancing. Silver lining and all that, Charles is back to you.